this is kind of a happy yet sad uh, moment with me and my plant because I planted this a long, long time ago. This is one of the plants that got me started on the how to grow a pineapple in the house and also got probably hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of people all over the world attempting to grow their own pineapple. Most of them with success too. But um, it finally put out a pineapple, which I was very happy about. And um, the pineapple is now ripe. Um, the pineapple takes forever to ripen when it's growing indoors. This one did take forever. It took months, about a half a year to ripen. One way to tell if the pineapple is ripe just sniff it. If the pineapple smells like pineapple, it's ready to go. And this one is putting out a smell that I can smell from over a foot away, which means it's definitely ripe. Plus, it has a really beautiful yellow, ever so slightly orange look to the skin. And that tells me that it's ripe. Let me bring you in just a little bit closer and let's put an end to the pineapple, shall we? So, what I'm going to do is cut this down as far as I possibly can on the plant without cutting the plant. I'm using clippers. You can use a knife, I'm sure. And voila! That's how I harvest a pineapple. And if I didn't do this right, <laughs> I'm very sorry, but it's the first pineapple I've ever harvested in my life. Another nice thing about this is I'm going to eat this pineapple tonight but I'm also going to take the top off and plant it again. So the pineapple continues. You know, I've heard from a variety of sources that once you harvest a pineapple, that's it. This plant is done. It's not going to put out another one. I'm going to put this back underneath the light and we're going to see if that's true. What do you think? Should we see if the experts are right? <laughs> of course we should. Never trust an expert. First thing I want to do is rinse this off. It's always a good idea to rinse it off. Just in case there was any kind of bug spray or, I don't know, buggers or dog licks on your plant. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know how to get the stem off of this thing. Oh! <laughs> and now I do! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> this is the expert everybody talks about. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Now, as far as getting the top off, we all know how to do that, right? Ow! That thing is sharp. This isn't like those half-dead ones in the grocery store. This thing is armed, ready to hurt me. Okay, bring my hand and slide it over to try and lay the leaves flat. And then, ow! <laughs> Twist and sniff it, of course, because you know it smells good. Okay, the next part is to take the bottom off. Oh yeah, it smells good. Now I take off the top. These are two pieces that aren't really going to have any kind of edible anything on them. Now I just take a knife and slice right down the side as close to the edge as possible. The way I do this is take it right down the center, take it right down the center again, and then the core needs to come out because the core is not as sweet. And the core is just a little tiny triangle that I slice out there. Even though it's not as sweet, I eat it anyway. Ooh. Oh god, that's tart. Okay. Maybe we won't be eating the center. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. The chickens might appreciate this. I'll throw it to the chickens. And then the way that I do this is just cut it into chunks. See the little tiny brown things that you see here and there? That doesn't bother me. You can trim those off if you want, if you're uh, a stickler for nothing but 100% pure pineapple. I am not. I really don't mind. So I just take them and cut them into little chunks like this. That way I can pick them up with my fingers or a fork and pop them into my mouth. And there I have it. Two years worth of work in a bowl. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yes, it was. Seems like a lot of work for one pineapple, but it wasn't the end result that I was looking for. It was the experience of growing a pineapple, and it was worth every single minute. And I get a pineapple as a treat.
And don't forget, the fun never ends. I've never had a pineapple top this fresh, so I don't know if there's going to be any roots inside these leaves. I guess we're going to find out, huh? We'll find out together. This is as fresh as a pineapple top is going to get, right off the darn plant. When you plant this, do not put it into sunlight right off the bat. You want to keep it in a shaded area for the first, I'd say, two weeks at least while it sets roots down because if it's in the sunlight, the plant is going to be geared towards making new leaves. That's just the natural reaction to sunlight and water. And it can't put out new leaves because it has no roots to feed the plant. So in order to put out new leaves, it kills itself by taking energy from the old leaves. So it's defeating its own purpose. Keep it in the shade. Let it use energy from these leaves to develop the roots. And then eventually the roots will feed the new leaves. That's how it works. So that's my tip for you on transplanting a pineapple top and doing it a little bit more successfully than just dropping it in there and tossing it into the sun. Okay, that was fun. Rinse off the pineapple. Get all that sugar off of them. And by the way, remember, set this in a shady location. You can keep an eye out on the roots. Once the roots get about maybe an inch long, it's ready to go into the soil. I like holding this. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like a pineapple scepter. Oh, but let me put my scepter down. I have your contest question for today. Check this out. They rattle. Nice and dry. I've been drying these upstairs for a couple months. But this is your contest question for today. These came off of my Franken pepper, the one that I grew up front this year on my porch in a pot. What three pepper plants do I believe went into making that Franken pepper? It's a strange Franken hybrid of three different pepper plants from what I believe. What three plants are they? If you think you know the answer to this one, post it in the comment section below this video. Good luck everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, poor little feller.